In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use Adobe Sign to create a web form that can be shared, completed, and signed electronically. To get started, log into your Adobe Sign account and click on Publish a Web Form. Give your new web form a name and then indicate the level of participation you'll need from the person completing the form. You can choose from any of these available roles. I'll leave Signer active. You can also choose to require the participant to authenticate his or her identity using a password or social or knowledge-based authentication. If you select none here, the signer will still be required to use a valid email address as authentication. Next, indicate whether the document will need to be countersigned once it's been submitted. I'll need to sign this form before it's final, so I'll click on this link to add myself to the workflow as a countersigner. You can also choose to add a countersigner with another role. So if you just need someone to approve this before it was finalized, that option is also available to you. So for this form, I may need to ensure that other parties are informed when the form has been completed. So I can click here to add a CC field to notify others on my team. Now I'm going to upload the file that I want to use as our web form. You can drag and drop the file here, or you can use the add files link to browse to the file in a number of different locations available. So I'm going to choose a file from my computer and I'm going to use a Word document, but you can use a PDF, an image, or any other supported file type. Don't forget to check this box at the bottom of the screen and then click on Next. So this brings us to the drag and drop form builder that will let us add fillable form fields to our new web form. Adobe Sign automatically detects and adds form fields, but I'm going to do it manually. In the right pane, I can choose the participant who will be responsible for filling in each of these fields. We'll start with the signer who will need to enter his or her information. We'll give her a way to do that by dragging her designated fields onto the correct locations in the document. So I'll just speed through adding these fields. And we also have a required signature field for me to complete as the counter signer. So now we'll come back up here to the recipients dropdown, select my name and add a space for me to sign. And I'm also going to add my name. And once I have all the fields placed, I click save in the lower right to make this a usable, shareable web form. So Adobe Sign will show me a preview of my new web form, and it gives me two ways to distribute the form. Here on the right, there's a line of code that I can easily embed in my website, either in HTML or JavaScript. There's also a hosted version of the form that I can share with people using this hyperlink here. So here's an email with that hosted URL behind this hyperlink. And this has been sent to Heather, who I want to have sign and complete this form. She just has to click on the URL in the email and then complete the form. So you'll see a couple of these forms have auto-populated with the date. So Heather just has to fill out her title, her company name, phone number, email address, and sign the document. And when she applies her signature, then her name also auto-populates up here. And now she's ready to go ahead and click to sign. So before this form can actually be submitted, she'll have to verify her identity via email. So we always know that we're getting authenticated information. Heather verifies her identity by clicking on this link in the email she receives. And then the form comes back to me for counter signing in the Adobe Sign application. When I click on waiting for me in my homepage, Here's the form waiting for my counter signature and I can click open to view and sign the form. So I apply my signature and then when I click to sign, a copy of the signed form is sent to all parties, including anyone who was CC'd on the original form.